The recent tsunami not only left behind destruction in Japan, but also within a Richmond home. Friends and family today gathered at St. Catharines to mourn the loss of Taylor Anderson, the first American victim claimed in Japan. Her spirit lives on in others, and especially in me. Um, and that's you know one of the ways I, I cope with her being gone, is that helps me stay strong. I know she would want me to go on, live my life, live my dreams, um, because it would be pretty easy not to you know, to just collapse. Taylor's father, Andy, and his wife, Jean, have spent countless hours searching for their daughter and received a call on March 21st that her body had been found. At St. Catharines, where Taylor graduated from in 2004, head of the school, Laura Fuller, says students have band together to honor the memory of their friend and show their support for her family. It became really important for everybody to have the opportunity to do something. Senior Catherine Kane started selling these blue bracelets to help Taylor's legacy live on. You don't have to know her personally to know that she would have been my friend if I had known her. The Andersons in St. Catharines School have worked together to establish the Taylor Anderson Memorial Fund. All of the money raised will be dedicated in Taylor's memory to help relief efforts in Japan. If you'd like to donate, please visit St. Catherine School website. Reporting for CBS 6 in Richmond, this is Mary Morgan.